Oh, look at this. Ebb Tide color TV sign right there. That's a classic. They have color TV. And so we begin this video at Golf Boulevard and 130th Avenue on Madera Beach. Right over there actually is a beach access. Welcome to John's Pass. Pioneer Village and Boardwalk shopping, dining, and entertainment. I've been coming here for a long time. This will be your first time. My first time. At John's Pass. It sure is. We're gonna explore this place, show you what's new here, what's always been here, share some memories, have some fun, check out the shops, check out the boardwalk. They have a Bubba Gump here. This place. What more could you want? What could you want? You what, what more could you want it's but a Bubble Gump? Gump? We're done. <laughs> That's the video. Bubble Just Gump. like City Walk. Exactly. But this is John's Pass Boardwalk. Yeah. And John's Pass is a passway from the intercoastal to the Gulf of Mexico that was formed back in the 1800s after a hurricane came through and cut out the pass. John's Pass, because I believe there was an old pirate by the name of John, his first name, that discovered it. So there you go. A little bit of history. Also, we might actually dip our toes in the sand. You the, know it. The beach is just right over there, so you know it. I think it's tip your toes in the water. And tip your toes well, in, we'll the do it in the sand. Too. Dip your toes yeah. in the sand. Uh -huh. Dip and your toes. The water. I'm so glad she's and here. Normally, that it would just like fly, and they'd just be like <laughs> laughing, and someone would occasionally just um, comment and correct me. But you're not incorrect. You're not incorrect. I'm not incorrect. No. She said it there. Chris, the girl said it. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy our experience here at John's Pass. It's been a few years since I've been out here, so we thought we'd spend, uh, take it easy like Sunday morning. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Cool. Easy yeah. like Sunday easy morning. Like Sunday morning. To check out John's Pass. There is much ahead. Oh, yeah. And also, the Queen of England is present, but it looks like she's not walking around John's Pass today. She decided to hang back. Guess the royal family's out here. They left the queen. They left her in there. Along oh with no, Bill. it's too hot. Someone break the window. God save the queen. Okay, so this is the far end of John's Pass. We actually parked along the street here, 12 bucks for four hours. And we're gonna head down to the actual boardwalk, the original fishing village. And here we begin at the John's Pass directory so we can put things into perspective. This is a map of John's Pass village and boardwalk. All the dining, shopping, and entertainment. We are starting here. We parked over here, started the video. We're gonna head right down, straight down under the boardwalk. Under the boardwalk. I love that song. John's, John's Pass, Pass under the boardwalk. We're gonna have a blast under the boardwalk. Boardwalk. You're welcome. As we're walking to the boardwalk, we stopped in this alley next to this convenience store. Actually, right across from the convenience store is SpongeBob SquarePants, right next to the dumpster. You know what SpongeBob SquarePants and I have in common, Chris? I think you already know what I'm gonna say. The same. Smile! And Look at that. It's adorable. I oh, love it. I'm glad you like it. Oh, I love it. Hi, SpongeBob. An amphibious boat tour. Parrots of the Caribbean. Look at that. We'll have to do that sometime. That'd be cool. Okay, now approaching the boardwalk. Just wanted to show you on the back side over there, there is a parking garage, a multi-level parking garage where you can park to come to John's Pass before walking over here and entering the John's Pass boardwalk. Also, Caddy's Tiki Bar, where I hear some live entertainment is over here as well. We can access that from the, the boardwalk though. Just to look back at John's Pass Grill. I've never eaten at John's Pass Grill but I've had Delosis pizza before. It's pretty delicious, New York style. And they're rooting for the Bolts. They're rooting for the Bolts. It's a Bolts pizza place, even better. And before the boardwalk here, a little monument in memory of those lost at sea. And it's a little hand, kind of in the form of a wave, and you see a little boat there. It's a very cool looking sculpture. It's got the hand coming up and the boat's right there. It's kind of like a wave, and right here are all the names of those who were sadly lost at sea. There's a ton of names here, and this, these are all from, I believe, this area. Okay, slowly but surely, 
We are making our way up to the boardwalk. Just wanted to show you the shark popping out of Scully's right here. This is one of the oldest fishing structures right here. This building is so old, you can see the age right here. And also down there, there's the water underneath the boardwalk. Now Scully's, I've eaten here before, last time I made a video here, that is themed after the John Candy movie, Summer, Summer Rental, which was filmed right here on Madeira Beach. Aww. Scully's is the restaurant the family eats That's in the movie. Cool. It's not the original restaurant where it was made, but they're, uh, they're paying it uh, homage, as they say. Nice. And here we are, finally on the boardwalk. Just a quick look this way. There's a pirate ship over there, just like you see at Clearwater Beach. A little pirate cruise. Out there is the Gulf of Mexico. Check out the water right here. Looks nice, doesn't it? It looks pretty darn clear. You can see a bunch of fishies down you there. You see some fishies down there? Yeah. Also a lot of boat rental places. And this is the boardwalk this way and again Scully. So we're gonna figure out which way we wanna go first. We wanna go right and then come back this way because we're kind of like mid boardwalk. Okay. Oh yeah, there you go. School of fishies, fishies everywhere under the boardwalk and chris just noticed that the drawbridge is up check it out the sailboat coming right underneath here it goes down it's going back down now that gives me um stephen king vibes maximum overdrive and this is what you see when you look to the right after entering the boardwalk we've got seafood right there the friendly fisherman which is some of the best seafood i've had in this area We've got Pirate's Pub, we've got Ice Cream Shop, and oh, I see the world's largest chicken wing up there. We'll get there when we get there. And the Royal Conquest, a pirate ship. Another pirate ship tour, like Captain Nemo's on Clearwater Beach. I like this one because it's painted more realistic, and I say painted, but the other one's red, even though they're probably just the same thing. Go out on the Gulf, maybe do a sunset tour, have a few drinks and just have fun and be a pirate for a day. The real question is, yeah. does it play Who Let the Dogs Oh, out? that is an inside joke. That's the question. You gotta dig deep for that one. Yeah. We're just leaving it there. John's Pass Wave Runners. Looks like there's some folks over here about to rent some Wave Runners to go out on the water. Just wanted to show you a little more of the pirate ship here. There's the rundown. If you take a screenshot, it'll last longer. Hope you got it. And also there's a shark boat here as well. There's all kinds of things going on just right here, everywhere along the boardwalk. So right here at Hubbard's Marina, that, this is actually called Hubbard's Marina at John's Pass on Madera Beach. This boat right here is the first boat I ever went on a deep sea fishing tour. And it was short lived because a giant storm came and it was like the perfect storm out there. And Although I, it was scary, I was, I was having a lot of fun out there just riding the waves out. We had an emergency come back and uh, no refund. No. I didn't catch much fish no that day. Skipper. But my first, uh, hey, first deep sea mate. adventure was right there. There's the old seafood friendly fisherman restaurant sign and the friendly fisherman restaurant. Okay, this cool attention getter in the glass here in the window caught our eye we're gonna go inside here yeah we're gonna check it out it's called sinbad's treasure Chest. sinbad's yeah i like that dead men tell no tales well pirates of the caribbean here in sinbad's you can see the age of the place up here in the rafters a lot of nautical stuff in here of course a lot of cool stuff arts and crafts and whatnot see anything you want Lobsters? I know that's weird, but they're kind of cute. They look delicious. Ooh. I found what you need. <gasps> that actually legitimately scared me for a second. Isn't it horrific? It's your favorite, Chris. But it's glowing. It's a glowing frog. Now that is cool. We've got xenomorphs. And they also have... Oh, is that a predator? It bleeds. If it bleeds, we can kill it. I think it bleeds uh, grease or oil. These look like car parts. That's cool. Okay, the boat's about to take off and they're blasting the Goonies soundtrack. Get me pumped, let's go on a treasure, treasure. Adventure. Holy Mary, mother of God. What we have here is a pirate ship. I believe this is the exact quote on the beach at the end. All aboard. Okay. They're about to have some fun. Hey, you guys. 
And it wouldn't be a tourist destination without a Kilowins. They've got chocolate. We've got a Kilowins right there. Oh, check it out. So the friendly fisherman has come back from deep sea fishing and these gentlemen over here, the crew, are filleting the fish and all these pelicans know what's going on. So they're gonna get some fish scraps here. They know the sweet spot. And it looks like uh, a whole lot of grunts there, the grunt fish. That's what the uh, pelicans want. They want some grunt scraps. You may have got some. Now there's some carnage down there, so you might want to look away, but I just wanted to show you the sign here, deep sea fishing, dolphin, watching sunset cruises, bait and tackle store here at Hubbard's Marina. And there is the buffet boat there. Check it out, there's a little beach over here too. Guys fishing over here. And a look underneath the bridge here at John's Pass. Right over there, Treasure Island. Treasure Island. One day we'll go to Treasure Island and explore that as well. Just taking it all in here. I'm going very slow today. I keep saying I'm going up the stairs and then I'm just like looking back because I just want to capture everything that's going on. Also, it being your first time here uh -huh. and a Sunday. Yeah, this is really cool. I haven't really experienced, again, unless I'm wrong, I haven't really experienced anything like this before where you're walking like on a boardwalk. There's the water literally right there. There's all of these boats and then like stuff like right across the water over there. Like I don't, and then the bridge, I don't know, like this is really cool. I've never it's, really it's seen unique anything spot like here. this before, yeah. John's Pass. Okay, so the entrance to the bait and tackle shop for Hubbard's Marina is right down the steps here. And also back there, that's the parking garage where you could also park. But we're gonna go upstairs to where Hooters and Bubba Gump is. Bubba Gump. And here it is. Hooters, world's largest chicken wing with a hook in it, oh my gosh. Now, when I take a bite of this, I, I want you all to remember that this thing weighs 1,300, I'm sorry, 1,037 pounds. Welcome to the world's largest chicken wing. Right here on John's Pass. Who would have thought it would be right here? Right here. I had no idea if I had known that sooner, I would have been here by now. Right. So there you go, folks. And they have plenty of dipping sauce here. They have Hooters Mild. They've got medium. And I believe that's hot sauce that it's currently dipping in right there. Hooters hot sauce. Yummy. Look at the detail. All right. I know you're asking me, is that real chicken? Well, we're about to find out. Is that a real piece of chicken? It feels like chicken. Let me, hold on. Oh, it tastes like chicken. But everything tastes like chicken. That's the point. <laughs> yep, tastes like chicken. World's largest chicken. We, we did it. We made it. I didn't think we'd make it, but we made it. Finally. I'm happy we discovered the world's largest chicken wing no one's ever been here before no one's ever seen it we're the first ones here oh my gosh that must have took a big 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 fryer to cook that must be the world's largest uh chicken wing fryer and what about the chicken that that came off of oh my gosh that they killed it huge. they killed the world's largest chicken oh the massacre what happened the macabre of the body parts the world's largest beak the world's, world's largest, largest breast exactly where is that maybe it's in hooters it prop it could very well be and this is a great bird's eye view of what's going on out here at john's pass a lot of boats coming in and out oh there goes the pirate ship wow that's backing up pretty fast Look at what's going on. There's also another boat over here. It looks like the Dolphin Quest cruise. Oh, there's a guy on the bow. There's a pirate on the bow with a microphone. Bon voyage. Have fun out there. Be careful. Watch out. Oh, that ski do about got hit. Ah. Okay, now on the back side of Hooters on this footbridge. Actually, this is the parking lot, Bubba Gump's is down that way. And this is a look back at John's Pass. Also, a giant lighthouse. 
Right there, we're just kind of showing you all the nooks and crannies right now. And we made it over to Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Check it out. They're hiring. We're actively seeking fun and energetic people to join our team. Hey, it happens. I'm going to find Bubba. We decided to come in the gift shop with Bubba Gump's to cool off. So, there's some awesome merchandise in here too. Also, grab a bottle of water. I just felt like running from that day on. I was going somewhere. I was running. Run, Forrest. Run. Also, Lieutenant Dan. Look at this. Lieutenant Dan's ice cream. Lieutenant Five Dan cents. Ice cream. Lieutenant Dan's got legs. Oh, look. They have Curious George in here. That was my mom's favorite when she was a kid. Curious George. The man in the yellow hat. And a George in the box. And there's the Jenny. The shrimp boat. Right there on the wall before before the head, before the bathrooms. Also, in each of these Bubba Gump shrimps, wherever they are, I've only been to the one at Universal and I believe Gatlinburg, Tennessee. I've never actually eaten at this one, but they all have memorabilia and some screen use props from the actual movie. And here's a little sketch of Young Forrest there with his leg braces. And the restaurant sits right here at the end of John's Pass Boardwalk. You can see the beach area down there where you can actually walk down and Dip your feet, dip your toes in the sand. But way out yonder, there's a loud boat. Right there, a speedboat. Check out the John's Pass side. There's the water. We'll go out there at the end of the video. Dip our toes in the sand. Toes in the sand. Now I noticed the last time I was at City Walk, they took the Forrest Gump's pair of shoes out from the bench outside of Bubba Gump. But they're still here and also, the box of chocolates is still here and the bench and I'm Forrest, Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. All right, if the shoe fits, you put your feet in there. And I have made a friend, I actually ran into this guy. <laughs> How you doing? This is uh, John from the John Adventure. Ran into Tampa Jay and Chris the girl. and The Ray shirt. I was like, yes. hey, Ray's up. Uh, big Ray's fan. So if you guys don't mind, subscribe to the channel. Check out his channel. The John Adventure. Thank John you. Adventure. And you're on John's Pass. On John's Pass. Did you do that on purpose? No, I know I you did didn't. Not. We were we were jo we were joking about that a minute ago. But yeah, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, check out the John Adventure on YouTube. Awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you. Look at the fudge. Oh, we popped into Cohen's to grab a drink because we seriously needed it. That's right, we're gonna be in trouble if we stay here. We're gonna be full of chocolate too. It's a good thing that you said that that was it when we cashed out because I was like, well, no, no, no. Hey, we're still here. Okay, there's a giant shadow there. I think that's a manatee. It is a little warm, but you never know. Something went under there. Could be a shack. Speaking of shack, there's the shark boat. They have one of these on Clearwater Beach too at the Clearwater Marina. Nice little way to see some dolphins. And now we're headed back this way, so we're on the other side of Scully's, as seen in Summer Rental, John Candy movie. Not this one, but as I was saying before, it is paying tribute to the movie. Check it out down here. This always reminds me, especially these little booths here, this always reminds me of kind of like the movie Hook. You know the little fishing village where they dock where the pirates are, the little pirate village? I don't know, it always just kind of reminds me of that down here. It's very cool. Also should mention the giant stingray and the hammerhead shark on top of the roof here at Scully's. As you were saying, they're cousins. They sure are. The stingray is the cousin of the shark. Of the so. shack. Of the shack. Yeah. Primos. So next up, we're going to walk down underneath the boardwalk to Caddy's. Caddy's a tiki bar here. And this is like their, their seating. You can come out here and sit on the water. I just want to show you this first, but the entrance is right there behind you. And I hear some live music underneath all those palms over there. Okay, I told Chris to go first, but we're gonna walk down into Caddy's. A little tiki bar down here. Gotta go under the boardwalk. Oh, there's a shark hanging there. Look at that. Check it out. This is a cool vibe, isn't it? Look at all the tiki poles. And always live entertainment. I think at every Caddy's they always have live entertainment. I thought I saw this shark. Yeah, he's kind of moving. 
He's kind of moving and grooving to the music. Yeah. All the way up there. Check it out. There's also a dock out there where you can eat. There's the Caddy's Dolphin Cruise. All kinds of things you can do here at Caddy's. Back up on the boardwalk. Look how the uh, palm trees are popping out of the roof there. Yeah. Look at that. Nice. I like it. They built around the trees. So are you having a good day? This is like, I think I say this all the time. This is one of the best days I've had in a long time. <laughs> it's just been really chill and fun and out here on the water under the sun. Like it's just, and with you of course, it's, it's just the best. Are you having fun? The same sentiments. It's like the best day ever, every vlog. Yep. Every time day, of, we're not even filming. Having the time of my life. And we are still making our way down the boardwalk. Just a little bit more to go. Now you can see the age of the fishing village here. Right here, this old shack, the Boardwalk Grill, a little diner kind of place. Now, I think I've eaten here before, a long time ago with my family. It's pretty good food. I'm gonna guess that they're from the Northeast because they got lobster rolls. They got lobster rolls. Really cheese sticks. And also, this is, a, this is a rare thing, $4 pints all day right here in this touristy place. That's pretty cool. And one place over from the Boardwalk Grill down there, you have Gator's Paracel Rental. But this yellow building right here, this is the world famous taffy, world's most famous taffy shop. Just looks cool. Kind of reminds me of one we saw in Gatlinburg actually. Zeno's Boardwalk Sweet Shop. Since 1948 it says. And there's the Gator's Paracel and Chris was noticing this. Great minds think alike. That wire gator right there on the top of the pylon. That's awesome. Super cute. And another little cafe here. Actually, this is the last building on the east side of the boardwalk. And they have boba tea, ice cream, and all kinds of snacks for you. I believe they have sandwiches too. Actually, there's two places here. There's a boba tea place and Paradise Cafe. Great food, always friendly. And I, I like their logo there. It's a mermaid and a old school scuba diver riding a dolphin like a horse. And these are cool. You see these in downtown Tampa too. This one's a large one. This is a Florida Tiki Tour. It's a basically a, a floating dock on a boat and you go out on the water and you just drink it up. Probably playing some uh, Jimmy Buffett out there or something like that. Maybe some Jack Johnson, some Yacht Rock. Yeah. Maybe. Some, uh, what's his face? Margaritaville. Yeah, Jimmy Buffett. That's the one. Did you say Jimmy Buffett? Yeah. Okay. Parrothead. And we have found a fish market. Chris found a fish market. Also, a filling station. Look, there's the pumps right there. Yeah. It's a gas station. It, it looks just like a gas station, huh? Just for the boats. I don't know what else I was expecting, but yeah. <laughs> there's the pumps. And this is the last of the boardwalk. The boards. They're recording a video, right? So cute. The boards have run out. There's a look back at where we just came and we're walking down here actually going to walk back towards the main strip the main shopping strip and look at everyone out there probably having a really good time there was a giant circle out there before that island looks like a sandbar just having some parties man soaking up some rays probably some beers too and right here a look under the boardwalk at the fishing market there's some cages right here like some uh, crab cages. That was a quick cruise. I think that was about an hour. The pirate ship is coming back. Doesn't look to be open, but this place looks amazing. Very eclectic. Waltz Fish Shack. Look, uh, look at the fish up there. It's probably pretty tasty. Maybe they they're just not open on. Uh, they're not open on Sundays. Yeah, Sunday, like in the random afternoon. Okay, here's the schedule. Waltz Fish shack hours dinner tuesday through saturday so no sunday but 5 p.m until we run out of fish so if they're having a slow day they could they could be open all day oh wow there's a bold statement about it below walt reserves the right to close early open late or remain closed any day for any reason this includes uh but it's not limited to stormy weather cold nights exhaustion Spur of the moment, vacations are just a good day at the beach. We do not recommend the, this establishment if you are in a hurry. 
are high maintenance or high maintenance or if you do not enjoy fresh florida seafood so there you go and that just speaks to my heart i want to try waltz yeah now just because i kind of like that attitude yep respect respect okay walking back up to the main strip gonna hang a right up here this is the back side of caddies and scullies where we entered the boardwalk and here's more of those palms popping out of caddies right here towering above also this is like the main entrance here a giant tiki guy i like that and i just wanted to show that it says right here hubbard's marina established in 1928 almost 100 years ago a long time. A long time. A long time. And you can really see the age right here. Now that looks like it was built in the 1920s, the backside of Scully's here. It's an old fishing shack, an old fishing village. Taking a break, it's hot. It's hot. You know this uh, building behind you, it's striped like a tiger. Yes. Grr. Tiger. What is this? Zebra. Oh, it's a, oh, a zebra. That's fun. Put your dog on a shirt. Okay, you can do that here. Check out some of the examples here. <laughs> I like this one, Snuggle Squad. Aw, Bella needs to be put on a shirt. We need her on a shirt. Also, yeah, I like that that's one. A great, that's a great one. That dog is as big as that tree. That's a huge that's a dog. Here. And this little beach shop here called Wild Style, the one painted like a tiger in a zebra. Oh my gosh, what a hidden gem inside Wild Style. There is a giant statue of Shrek up there. Donkey. Oh, there's donkey and dragon. Wow, what a hidden gem. Welcome to Wild Style, babe. Like, this is amazing. I can't believe my eyes right now. Yeah. I am so in shock. Those things are huge. They're way up there. Donkey. And there's another look at Shrek. He's holding a flower. Does Universal Studios know about this? Oh wait, it doesn't matter anymore. They took him out. Donkey's still there though. He's in the back. And directly underneath Donkey here. Look, there's some giant mushrooms. One before him and one after him. That one's getting a little more fertilizer. Chris is uh, throwing it in her video right there. Just to put things into perspective. Watch out, Chris. There's a dragon right above you. Okay, look back here. I just want to show you first. There's a giant like monkey or gorilla thing over there. It might here. be an orang. I'm going to guess an orangutan. It's an orangutan. Yeah. He looks like he's been walking out on the boardwalk for a little too long. Looks a little overheated. Yeah. This guy's huge. It's pretty cool. I was asking if they knew where these uh, these Shrek statues came from, but they were like, oh, they've been here forever. So there you go. Ah, she's she's recreating it. I love it. I also love this Hawaiian shirt. This looks like Magnum PI. That looks like the exact shirt that he wore. You know what we don't have? Matching Hawaiian, Hawaiian shirts? like outfits. Oh. With parrots on it. Like Ooh, I like that one. Dress. Bella can wear the little swimming gear. You know. Um, I love you. We need to make that happen. Yep. Maybe a flamingo Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, flamingo one. Ooh, he's like, move it on over. I, I was here first. This is my sidewalk. Yep, that's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he said. But he's perfectly placed because this is the homemade frozen custard, the core family. The last time I made a video here, like four years ago, I got ice cream here. It's a cool little shop. They make the orange vanilla swirl. And right behind the ice cream shop, they have the spice and tea exchange. Come in and smell the spices. Also, there's like a squiggly man over here. Chris is saying that she has this. Her mom gave it to her. Yeah, my mom used to own this exact same teapot wind chime. This adorable little wind chime here. And now we have it. Yeah, I'm trying to find a good spot to hang It's in up. a box somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's we got to find it. That's adorable. Yeah. It smells very spicy in here. Very spicy. It's a spice shack. Look how old this place is, by the way. It's an old building. It's adorable. It's adorable. Look. Thank you. Uh, no, I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah, that's that'll great. be do it. Yeah, this is good. Thank you so much. Here's the Florida Sunshine Tea. How's it taste? It's so good, it's so refreshing. I'm looking forward to it. All right, this hit the spot. Thank you, Chris, and the Tea and Spice Exchange. They have a Facebook and an Instagram. 
they're online so check them out just showing you this place again with the squiggly man and a big surfboard that says lick me till ice cream I don't know what that means. What does that, yeah. What does that, what does that mean? How's that taste? Hey, this, <laughs> this tastes really good. Okay, here is the mega stretch of shops and all kinds of things, restaurants, even some attractions. Down this way towards where we began the video. I'm just gonna check it out. Beach Bites and Burgers. Looks like a restaurant up top. So on the top floor here, it says Alligator and Wildlife Discovery Center. 50 live crocodiles, feed them, hold them, and kiss them? What? This guy right here is saying, uh, you gotta go up to the second floor. He's cool, isn't he? And we're coming up to the second floor. I like the artwork here in the stairwell. Actually, there's a street just came up there, but there's some skull and crossbones and also it looks like a fort and a pirate over here. He kind of looks like Jack Sparrow. He's got a he's got a peg leg. There's a lot going on. Oh, what's down here? He's an iguana with a mustache. What? Uh, yeah, he's got a mustache. Oh, wow. What a fine Chris. It's like the, the pirate there behind his peg leg has a little rat buddy. <laughs> and, uh, it's quite a lot of oh, someone buried a body down there. Stuff Ooh. down there, along with some styrofoam and some cups, trash. And I can see some floss as well. So yeah, this this is a hidden gem up here. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever kissed a gator? No. And um, is it weird to say that I kind of want to? <laughs> I would not accept anything less. <laughs> I wonder if you can kiss the little piggies. <laughs> they probably won't bite you. Uh, who knows? They might bite you. Wow, it says alligator attraction. Okay. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this today, but maybe tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow, but maybe someday. Maybe much ahead. Hey, pretty bird. Pretty bird. It looks like Petey. His name is Peekaboo. One of them's Peekaboo. I think this is Peekaboo. Peek oh, wow. What a great photo opportunity here at Kiss a Gator. It's a couple sloths. Yeah. <laughs> she says, take a slothy. I'm like, that's so clever. Yeah, but I it says it right there. I just rolled with it. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I made up that joke all by myself. And inside the alligator attraction, there is a Zoltan. Not Zoltar, but Zoltan. Oh, creepy. Wow, that's cool. This is the best Especially if you like seen. snakes. Yeah, look at all the snakes. A whole shirt devoted to snakes. To different snakes. Check out the back. Okay, making our way this way. Actually, we have to go down. I think there's a staircase over here, though. Random traffic light. Green. Stop. Okay, go. St oh, stop. Go. Stop. Go. This is going to take forever. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So you were explaining in your video, Chris the Girl on YouTube, that this is a good bird's eye view of the place and you're also pointing out other things out here yeah, that we'll we're probably not going to get to today yeah, probably not because we've already been here a really long a surprisingly long time and with, that's uh, some of the new stuff over there yeah surf there's, style. there's a surf style over there there's an escape room over there on the second level that red part and there's a virtual reality arcade Ooh, another and arcade. more importantly there's a beef jerky uh experience or exchange i can't remember which one it is but they sell the beef jerky there just like you used to visit back in hershey back in hershey and yep. we saw in gatlinburg yep so it's this very special and dear place to my heart just like the world's largest chicken chicken wing, wing which is right behind it exactly. and we're going back down the stairs i missed this the first time it says the black pearl and there's some glowing eyes in there, some green eyes. Now that's spooky. And Chris is liking this pineapple shirt. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It says the beach that we're in. Madeira Beach, mm -hmm. and it's got a pineapple on it. I like it. Lori's Soaps and Sponges. The original one is on Dockenese and Tarpon Springs. Springs. Just north of here. So they have one here too. Yep, yep. And uh, Tarpon Springs is where I got my sponge for my sponge plant. And we also got the foot lotion. The foot lotion. As well. If which you know, I don't think I've used know. in a long time. Well, I used it. I used it all up a while ago. Oh, yeah, okay. It was good. Highly recommend it. That was from Spongiorama. Welcome to Cuban Paradise. Now, this is a cigar shop. Check out this guy. Don't see this every day. Who is this guy? It says on his book here, or 
Oh no, wait, that's a cigar box. It says Punch. So I'm guessing this is Punch. Maybe that's like a cigar brand I don't know about. But he's pretty cool. He looks like a jester. Bottom says Punch. Oh, look, it says Punch there. Oh, there's a plaque. What's that say? Classic Limited. www.allclassic.com. There you go. Okay, I remember this guy. Always cool to walk beside him or underneath him. There's a giant gator upside down, ratchet strapped on the roof. He's kind of in the shadows. Hold on. There you go. That's better. He's just hanging out. Also, there's a bird's nest. Check it out. There's a bird's nest up there. There's a bird. Checking out some t-shirts. Chris the girl. What's it say? Madera Beach. A quaint little drinking village with a fishing problem. I'd say that's accurate. That's great. That's precise. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris. Hold my tea. Flamingos! Oh my gosh, it's a flamingo Hawaiian shirt. Oh, this is awesome. It's all over the place. It's $54.99. Here's my American Express card. This is awesome. Flamingo! What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Matching flamingo shirts? Yes, definitely. Do they have your size? I mean, we can figure it out. Ooh, they, ha they have a black one too. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's, I saw it. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Ooh, this is tempting. I could wear that to a convention. So now we know where it is. Yeah. $54.99. That's pretty pricey. <laughs> Flamingers! Flamingo! I am a little flamingo. Look at that. It's a flamingo jigsaw puzzle. I'm getting near the end of the boardwalk. I always remember this place because of this fella right out front. He's always sitting there. He's got one heck of a tan here at Windworks. Chimes, flags, gardens, toys, kites, hammocks, and chairs. They got all kinds of knickknacks in here. Is he looking at me funny? Tell where, he's looking. where is he looking? Yeah, I wouldn't mess with him though. No, absolutely. He, he's got a pistol in his hand. Ooh. And he's got uh, wheels on his feet, so he can go pretty. He can skate. Fast. Oh, yeah. he's on casters. Yeah. So they can wheel him right back inside. Windworks. I think he's looking at me funny. All right, I won't say anything. He does have a loaded gun. I'm assuming it's loaded. Always assume it's loaded. Someone put a double XL large sticker right there. Yeah, he's looking at me funny. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna wear out my voice. Flamingos! Oh, that's cool, but look at this guy. Oh, wow. It's a wind like tunnel thing. A wind flag. It's a flamingo wind flag. Wait a minute. How did my hat get over there? Just like a pirate. He's a porch pirate. He's on a porch. We gotta get out of here, okay? We've been here for That's not, hey, hours. hey, 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 hey. I'm really, really hey. hungry and I'm ready to go. Wait a second, hey. you're not I'm right here, babe. Oh. Been here the whole time. He's a pirate, he stole my hat. But you know what? We made up. We'll, we'll just, we'll put him in the video. We'll keep him in the video. Yeah, he is, he's got a weapon after all, so. He does have a weapon. That. It's like double XL too. Oh, that explains it. He's been sitting on a chest of buried booty. His booty's been on the booty. Okay, getting near the end of the shops here, we've got Gypsy Beach Life. I like what they did there, and I think Chris is going in. You like that hat? How do do? Does it seem a little big? Oh, it looks perfect to me. You like it? Yeah, the hat too. And you got something. I did get something from the store. I got a soap, a little bar of soap. Soap on a rope? No. <laughs> It's just soap. It's, just it's good. It's sandalwood. It yeah, smells sandalwood. great. It smells so good. So, yeah. Should we show the soap? We're it's like hyping really, it up. It's, look, it's all wrapped up really pretty. She oh, okay. It up really nicely. It's in there. We promise. Yeah. Um, also, she's really, really nice. She was very, very, very kind. Um, so make sure you check them out. They had a lot of really cute stuff too. Very reasonably priced as well. So. Very nice store. Okay, at the end of the boardwalk here. At John's Pass, you have Bamboo Beach Bar and Grill, which, which looks really chill right now with live music, as you can hear. And just on the other side, there's a Thai restaurant, but we walked all the way down there and back. 
Down there's the boardwalk. And now, I think we're gonna cross over the street here and dip our toes in the sand. Dip the toes in the sand, oh yeah. Or maybe my van's in the sand. Dip your van's in the sand. Cause let's, let's just face it, I'm probably not gonna take my shoes off. I'm getting them all sandy. Okay, Ready? pedestrian crossing right here. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, they're flashing for us. Be careful. Oh, there's a giant bird straight ahead. And here we go down 130th, city of Madera Beach, beach access. Right past the sea grapes. Right over here. Oh look, someone else is showing the same thing. They also have parking over here if you need it. Sea grapes. Oh, there's grapes. Not a liar. They, they I see yeah. grapes. See grapes. I wonder if they taste good. I, I wouldn't. If yeah, I probably don't want to try that. Just, just in case, yeah. And a nice little public beach access. There's a hundred of these types of access down the Clearwater St. Pete area besides, you know, the public, or I'm sorry, the private beach access and more of the commercial beaches. There's all kinds of places you can park and walk out into the sand. Dip those toes in the sand. Here we are walking out onto the sand. Look at this. Yes. You can hear the waves crashing. That way, clear water. Way down there. And the flippies have officially been taken off, although it's a bit premature because the sand is burning hot. That's why I'm not doing it. <laughs> and there are a lot of folks out here enjoying the beach. Welcome to Madeira. Also the tiki, there's a tiki hut out there, a tiki floating bar. Walked down the beach a little bit because it was crowded right there at the access. We're gonna walk up to the water, see what it's like. There's the uh, tiki bar out there. That looks like a good time. Ice cold drinks. Must be fun. Maybe one someday. Maybe someday I'll do something like that. Tiki bar on the water. Dipping the toes in the sand. Dipping the toes. Or the vans. In the sand. You are. We did it. <laughs> I did it. You did it. Yeah. I'll let you demonstrate. Feels great. Waves crashing down. Wow, this is beautiful. To look down the beach here. Love the smell, the feel, the, s the sounds. Great place to be. Feels great, huh? Does it feel like bath water? What's the water feel like? Does it feel like bath water? It's actually ever so slightly cold. Oh, good. So it feels really Yeah, because it's hot out here. She's loving it. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up right down there. Thanks for watching guys. Also subscribe to Chris the Girl on YouTube. If you haven't already done so, check out her video. As she would say, she was vlogging today. She's got her camera. I do. And uh, yeah, so there you go, John's Pass. Our first time together, her first time. I had a great time. Everywhere we go, we always have a good time yeah. together. So this, this place, really cool. this place is cool and it's different. And shout out to those who we ran into today out there. We ran into a couple friends, some subscribers. Uh, it was so nice, especially you, John. Uh, hope you guys had a good time out here. They said that um, they were moving to Florida and congratulations. I hope you find a good spot and I wish you guys well, and good luck with the channel. Um, so there, I just wanted to put that in the end. Ultimately, had 
one of the most relaxing Sundays we've had in a few few Sundays because we've been moving or traveling. We went down south last week to Arcadia. That was fun, but today was more of a chill vibe. You know, we're at the beach, like you were saying in your video. Where else better to be on a Sunday? Yeah, it really was pretty much the perfect Sunday, I think. The perfect Sunday right here. Chris the girl in Tampa J signing off, but don't you worry, because you're awesome, you're loved, and no matter who you are or what you're going through, there's much ahead. And there's a beautiful beach. Doesn't this make your day better just coming out here no matter what happens? It always, always, always Clears your does. mind. It is, yeah, always. It's one of the best parts about living in Florida. A hundred percent. I've missed this so much when I was living in other states. Like, I really, really missed the beach, so. There you go. And it's, to some people, it's the mountains, it's the rivers, it's the streams. Wherever it is or whatever it is in your neck of the woods, there's always a place to go and mm -hmm. clear your mind, so. Yep. Get out there. What are you waiting for? What, what are you waiting, waiting for? for? Just a little encouragement at the end there. Find your beach. Dig it, man. Put those so toes put, in the sand or your man. Put those toes in the Dip sand. Dip them in the sand. There. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end it. Bye-bye. See you next time. There's much ahead. Bye-bye. See you next time.